there are numerous types of hacking and each of them focuses on something else. Here are 15 different types of hacks or attacking. Number 1. Phishing. Phishing is an attempt by cyber criminals to steal your identity and money via email. Hackers trick you into revealing your personal information, including bank details, passwords, card details, and more. An attacker sends someone an email with tricky words that appear to be very real. You act like someone you can trust, such as an interviewer, bank manager, service person, etc. It is combined with other attacks such as code injection, cyber attacks, and malware to make hacking possible. There are different types of phishing attacks such as email phishing, spear phishing, whaling, scams, phishing, and fisher phishing. Number 2. Virus, Malware and Trojan If you've ever seen an antivirus warning pop up on your screen, or you've accidentally clicked on a malicious email attachment, you've dealt with malware. Attackers like to use malware to gain a foothold on users' computers as well as the offices where they work because it's so effective. Malware refers to various forms of malware such as viruses and ransomware. Once malware is on your computer, it can do all kinds of damage, from taking control of your computer, monitoring your actions and keystrokes, to quietly sending all kinds of sensitive data from your computer or network to an attacker's base. Number 3. Denial of Service Attack and Distributed Denial of Service Attack A denial of service attack focuses on a network or machine to shut it down and make it inaccessible to the end users. This hacking strategy is aimed at taking down entire websites and preventing owners from delivering their service, hence the name Denial of Service or DOS. Large businesses often get hit by distributed Denial of Service or DDoS attacks. These are synchronized attempts to disrupt more than one site, potentially crashing all of their online assets. Number 4. Keylogger Keylogger also called keyboard capture or keystroke logger is a technique used to record every keystroke on a device or computer. It also has software that you can use on your smartphones. Hackers often use a keylogger to steal login credentials, sensitive enterprise data, and more. It is actually software that records every activity, including mouse clicks. You also find hardware keyloggers where there is a device inserted between CPU and keyboard that provides many features to capture the records. Hackers use this technique to access your account numbers, PIN codes, email IDs, passwords, and other confidential. Number 5. Brute Force We cannot discuss techniques hackers and hacking organizations use without mentioning brute force. It is an exhaustive search method that involves trying all possible password combinations using a calculation algorithm. Depending on how strong the password is, the process may in some situations take millions of years to complete. A brute force attack is an easy way of hacking that focuses on trial and error methods to crack passwords, encryption keys, login credentials, and more. Attackers work through all the possible cases to get the right one. Number 6. Man in the Middle Attack a man-in-the-middle attack is a general term for when a perpetrator positions himself in a conversation between a user and an application, either to eavesdrop or to impersonate one of the parties, making it appear as if a normal exchange of information is underway. The goal of an attack is to steal personal information, such as login credentials, account details and credit card numbers. Targets are typically the users of financial applications, SAAS businesses, e-commerce sites and other websites where logging in is required. Number 7. Bait and Switch Bait and Switch is a technique used by fraudsters to steal personal data and login credentials through trusted ads and avenues. They trick users to visit malicious sites and take all the details under users' noses. These attacks mainly form from the advertising space sold by websites. Once the attackers purchase the advertising space, they immediately replace the ad with a malicious link, resulting in locking the browser and compromising systems. Internet-based content marketing is the main channel for the attacks where users are tricked to open links, which later turns out to be malicious. Number 8. Ransomware 
Imagine being forced to pay to access the files on your own device. That's what ransomware attacks are all about. Hackers send a form of malware to encrypt your files and then demand a ransom to restore access to your data. They give you instructions on how to make the payment to get the decryption key for getting your files back. Number 9. Cookie Theft Cookie theft is a hijacking tactic where an attacker gets access to user information. Here, a third party copies the insecure session data and uses this to impersonate the user. It generally occurs when a user visits trusted sites through public Wi-Fi or an unprotected network. Once this happens, the attacker can use the information or account to post false messages, transfer money, or do other malicious things. It can be prevented if a user uses SSL connections to log in and avoids using unprotected networks to access sites. Number 10. SQL Injection SQL Injection is an attack where an attacker uses malicious code for database manipulation. This way, they access information kept safe in an organization's database. They interfere with the application queries to view data, including users' data, business data, and more. Once they have access, they can either delete the data or modify it, causing changes to an application's behavior. In some cases, the hacker gains administrative rights, which are highly detrimental for an organization. Number 11. Cross-Site Scripting In an SQL injection attack, an attacker goes after a vulnerable website to target its stored data such as user credentials or sensitive financial data. But if the attacker would rather directly target a website's users, they may opt for a cross-site scripting attack. Similar to an SQL injection attack, this attack also involves injecting malicious code into a website. But in this case the website itself is not being attacked. Instead, the malicious code the attacker has injected only runs in the user's browser when they visit the attacked website. And it goes after the visitor directly not the website. One of the most common ways an attacker can deploy a cross-site scripting attack is by injecting malicious code into a comment, or a script that could automatically run. For example, they could embed a link to a malicious JavaScript in a comment on a blog. Number 12. Fake Wireless Access Point Wireless access point is a technique used to connect many users at a time through a public channel. Fake WAP means doing the same thing by faking the technique. Here, a hacker usually chooses a public place where there is free Wi-Fi, such as the airport, shopping centers, and local coffee shops. Sometimes they set Wi-Fi for the users allowing free access and playing like a ninja. In this case, you freely give all your information during sign-in in the Wi-Fi account and other popular websites. In this way, they also hack your Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and other accounts. Number 13. Missing Security Patches Security tools can become outdated as the hacking landscape advances and require frequent updates to protect against new threats. However, some users ignore update notifications or security patches, leaving themselves vulnerable. It's not just antivirus software that needs patching. 18% of all network-level vulnerabilities are caused by unpatched applications. Apache, Cisco, Microsoft, WordPress, BSD, PHP, etc. According to EdgeScan's Vulnerability Statistics Report, your applications need constant attention as well to keep bad actors from exploiting holes in your security. Number 14. Clickjacking Attacks Clickjacking is also known by a different name, UI Redress. In this attack, the hacker hides the actual UI where the victim is supposed to click. This behavior is very common in app download, movie streaming, and torrent websites. While they mostly employ this technique to earn advertising dollars, Others can use it to steal your personal information. In other words, in this type of hacking, the attacker hijacks the clicks of the victim that aren't meant for the exact page, but for a page where the hacker wants you to be. It works by fooling an internet user into performing an undesired action by clicking on the hidden link. Number 15 or last is eavesdropping or passive attacks. Unlike other attacks that are active in nature, Using a passive attack, 
a hacker can monitor the computer systems and networks to gain some unwanted information. The motive behind eavesdropping is not to harm the system but to get some information without being identified. These types of hackers can target email, instant messaging services, phone calls, web browsing, and other methods of communication. Those who indulge in such activities are generally black hat hackers, government agencies, etc. And since you stack around with us until the very end, you know we are holding on to a bonus for you. Number 16. DNS Spoofing This essentially uses the cache knowledge of an internet website or domain that the user might have forgotten concerning. It then directs the data to a distinct malicious website. There are many types of hacking but this just 16 most used by hacker. Thanks for spending some time with us today we're so glad to you did. If you found value in today's video, please give us a like hit that bell icon to never miss an upload. And don't forget to subscribe. We see you tomorrow.